Good evening and welcome to the season finale of Off the Sticks. We have a nice final episode for you. We're going to talk about the draft from Don't Park, talk about some memories from Melee over the past year and a few more things. But before any of that, a quick word from our sponsor. Total Control is the only birth control IUD that grants the user mild telekinetic powers. Effective for up to 12 years, Total Control is a safe and effective way to prevent unwanted pregnancies and manipulate the physical plane from roughly 10 meters away. Take control of your surroundings. Total Control. So it's like, um, it's like a law rune for your pussy. <laughs> like that. Welcome back! <laughs> Final week. It's just, this is really it. We did what? It's been since I think August was yeah. our first episode. This is episode 17. 17. Uh, we skipped I think a week or two in there. Here and there we got sick a couple times. Um, you know, got pretty busy. consistent. Yeah. So as far <laughs> as things go, we're we're out here. Um, like Sunday night football, we don't miss a beat. Well, we missed a couple. We have heart palpitations, but mostly the beats are all there. I have a bigeminy in my heart. Do you know what that is? It's two hearts. Extra, no, Bi means it's, two. It's an extra two uh, beat. Bigemini also is twins, right? I mean, when doctors hear it, they freak out every time. And I have to, I have to talk them off a the ledge and be like, I, I have the thing. my second heart, thing. doctor. <laughs> I'm on my second round. Everything's <laughs> fine. But yeah, two. it's weird. Yeah, that's cool. I have um, no malformities at all that are worth bringing up. Except for my chest hole, it's which so apparently you want to bring up. You could put salsa in there. Why would you put salsa in there? Because you can, you can lay on your back and put salsa in your chest hole and then dip. Salsa's not a, a quick eat. It's not like cereal where it's like a one five minute sitting. Salsa's like a oh, yeah, whole party, two yeah, hours. because you're big ass chilling. You're then laying you got, on your back, you're watching Netflix, and you're eating salsa out of your chest hole. Oh, with I'm eating my own. Okay. I yeah. thought I was like a decor. Oh, you're, you're like laying the, on, yeah. a, on a, a banquet table, and people are just digging salsa. That's a thing. I mean, not with like pectus excavatums, but they eat from like, like Japanese girls' butt, butts and stuff. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, cultures are so beautiful, and we should respect them when they want to do what they want to do. It's going to be called uh, Memoirs of a Chest Hole. It'll be like Memoirs of a Geisha Girl parody. Yeah. And then there's guac and then sour cream. Yeah. And a little cilantro in there. And it's like super chill. There's actually no drama at all. But yeah, lot, a lot of good food in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> well, we had some Melee this weekend yes, and we some did. Ultimate. Yeah, we did. But what I'm really curious about, because I don't actually know, is the result of our draft. Because right. it was for $100. And... Just based off of I'm who so is in the final eight, I'm thinking I did pretty well. All right, Zipper, pull it up. Here's what happened. We got, ooh! So this is without bonus questions, but it doesn't matter because we both whiffed the bonus question of how many uh, non-US players will be in top eight. Okay. Uh, you guessed two, I guessed three, there was one, it was Spud. Um, Why'd we guess two and three? Because none was oh, there. Oh, none. Professor um, Pro. Yeah, there was like there was a pretty good shot okay. actually. Okay. Uh, one of the other questions was uh, the sh viewership for Ultimate. I don't even actually I didn't even check because I was so disheartened because it doesn't matter. I'm yeah. just I'm too down. And then um, my guy Weedmaster Sexay uh, placed higher than your guy. My guy dropped out. Who dropped out? Someone actually DM me and said, "Hey, uh, Big Moist, I, I know him in real life, and I don't think he's going to show up. I think he's going to DQ himself." And I just forgot to bring it up to you. Well, I, you know what's fucked up? I didn't forget to bring up Hugs to you because Hugs was like, "I'm focusing on Ultimate." Well, it's not fucked up. It hurt me. I mean, that helped me, but that it, yeah, it helped you. It was it was way better than a bonus question. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I mean, I could I I might. What if I didn't say anything? I'd be up a a, 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 a hundo right now. But instead, I'm up a hundo. Thank you for being nice. Fuck. Thank you so much for being nice. That was Damn. a great decision. I hope you make that decision again in the future. Face, but I'll take the decision of winning 100. Face roll was such a huge pick. He got fucking fourth, dude. Yeah. He made Hacks Money tweet out and Fiction tweet out about how good Sheik is. Captain Bankroll himself. Them in Swedish. 
Uh, ginger. I actually didn't see much of ginger at all. I was, well, I was, I didn't, I don't know. I was kind of, uh, you were there on and off this whole time. Yeah. So, but it was like, I, I commentated and then I played and then I slept and then I, yeah, it was like, it was like, I, I lived a half life. Was there a casino there? Yeah. That's why. Okay. There was that a poker sense. room. Me and Miles hit it oh, up. Okay. And it was, it was very juicy by the way. Did you I go up? Check it out. Well, yeah. okay. Kinda, but. Well, you went down a hundred. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But maybe even overall, hopefully. We for your great. sake, we played some. We played some good hands. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my picks overall. I think there were a few people who, um, I think they're probably disappointed in their performance, but they ran into some tough opponents. But uh, I'm Pops happy. Absent page, Nanners. Yeah, bananas 17th. S fat got dunked S-fat. on by Spud the God, the Legend, the God. Well, okay, fifth. I wouldn't use the term dunked on. Use my fifth pick. Fifth. First use pick. your first pick, and you got fifth. That's so smart. You should have just taken S J. I, well, I still got him. I can't believe I let you have him. Yeah, you're dumb. I don't remember who you I took. You picked S-Fat second. You picked oh, Zane and then S-Fat. I'll stand by that, all right? I stand by you, Zach. I'm with you, all right? Next tournament, don't fuck me. I, how many times did I say it? Even with Coach Bobbis on his side, the you Jedi watch your Master. Mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Don't finish this sentence. I love Coach Bobbis with all my heart. He knows that. But... Even with his power on his side, Spud's just too fucking custom, bro. That's all it is. Yeah, he's so custom for fifth place, bro. That's so custom. Yeah, well, he ran into Face Roll, who's on a heater. Sometimes face Roll's you, custom. Sometimes you're just on a heater, bro. Face Roll's custom, dude. What are you talking no, about? I don't know. Shake. I don't know what custom means. I just, I just like, fa- I like just Face Roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> no, Spud did really well. Uh, he did run into some tough opponents, but... I, I like it, too, because people kind of found out that Spud is sick, right? Before, I feel like he was very under the radar. It's like well, I think... A, he... he Fucked Mike Hayes at the last Dome Park, which was two years ago because they skipped last year, I believe. Yeah, um, he got better. He, he's, like he's not as good as he was two years ago. He's much better. Yeah, I know. That's probably not the way to phrase it, but he's better than he was yeah. two years ago. He's not as good. He's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that was Dome Park. Uh, Do you watch any of it? Did, I, me I and Fendi had to commentate a, like a forty-minute set. It was Vinod. I watched that set versus. Um, uh, Chic. Okami, B- Okami. BBW. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you you actually have the record. Congratulations of the longest set commentated. Yeah, is it really the longest set? No, I don't actually know if it's probably what up there. The no, longest best like of five. Set, there's a set that's gone like at least like four or five timeouts, right? Like Young Link, uh, Armada's Young Link versus Hungry Box. Yeah, but to game five, Genesis two, I think. I think it. That one's long. Either way. Oh. Uh, I think you, you're up there. You yeah, fly on the mic on that. Yeah. Congratulations. You're in the record books right next to Mango. Goat. I, yeah. I, Slime. Me, me and him are the same. Longest set commentary. We, do, <laughs> we, we achieve. Yeah. So there it is. It'll yeah. be like Hugs, longest career. Slime, longest time on the mic. Yeah. Well, Fendi too. It's a co-record. Yeah, yeah. You guys. Me and him share it. Well, who sat down first? Who sat down? Yeah, first. Between you two. I did because uh, he was late. Because he was commentating Split 2. Yeah, Fendi was late. Wow. Fendi was late. And they docked his pay, right? I hope fucking so, Bendis. No, I, I, ho- I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. But no, he like... Had he was in- commentating Splatoon? Yeah, they just like asked him to come on because they like desperately needed someone to be on the mic. And he was like, uh, can you commentate Splatoon? Apparently is what he told me. And he's like, uh, yeah, sure. And then he did. And he was asking how the game worked, <laughs> which was good enough commentary, I suppose. Yeah. Say what you will about Fendi, but if you need a guy to commentate a random game last minute... There's nobody better. You know, okay, I'm gonna bust this whole shit wide open. Do you know why Fendi, maybe he's not the most beloved commentator, but do you know why people like to to book him? Yeah. The largest? No, I I said that's one way to phrase it when you (laughs) said he's not the most beloved. He's not the most beloved. The reason is he fucking shows up and he doesn't make a fuss and he does his job and he does it typically well enough to where it's, everyone's like, okay, I can deal with that. And sometimes commentators don't do that. And mm-hmm. when they don't do that, it makes TOs not want to kind of deal with that. Mm. So if you're ever wondering what the machinations are behind booking commentators and stuff, the ones that are most cooperative often are the ones that are on the mic. So yeah. think about that, right? Next time you want to sort of like complain or, or wonder why certain people are there and who's not, it comes down to that sometimes. Right? That makes sense. It's a job, end of the day, you know? Yeah, I mean, and sometimes you don't get paid. You need to show up. <laughs> you need to show up. <laughs> Even if you're not getting paid for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Still need I, to get showed up. I showed up for my block. It's a resume. And then it was time to go. Yeah. And that's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah. even then, I don't know. We can talk about Melee chat was forever. Brutal. Was it brutal? Brutal. I watch, I rewatch for a little everything. bit. everything. Was it? Why? What happened? 
I don't know. I think melee players are just a little like it was a mixture of like okay, melee players being toxic just in general, okay. either towards commentary or towards players. Okay. And then it was like a mixture of some people who I think were melee players making fun of melee by saying dead game. Like half of the chat was just like ultimates better Lamal while you guys still playing this. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure I saw all those names and I'm like. Those guys are regular melee viewers. Yeah, I. Okay, <laughs> the thing is, we all pass around the same audience, yeah. right? Like we, there are like, a, there's a log of fifty names in all of our minds that we see in all kinds of melee streams. Yeah, they're like subs. They're mods everywhere. They're the same people. And when you see those people talking that good shit, it's it's almost funny because it's like it's like an actual local melee scene because you've seen them talk shit before or yeah. or be nice before. And you're like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, I, you're not anonymous anymore, dude. You're in so many chats. Happened to me this morning. Shout outs to Crexus. I saw him in Retro Gaijin's chat. He's a melee stan, right? Okay. He's in a bunch of melee chats. And then I just see him in Retro Gaijin's chat. He's playing Ultimate. And they're talking about the stages. And people are just saying, like, oh, I wish you could play more stages. And then he's like, yeah, why is it like Battlefield every time? I'm like, bitch, you know. <laughs> you know this. That's so weird. <laughs> then he sent me a wiki face. I was like, all right, yeah, fair enough. Wow. They're just little trolls. They're okay, little trolls, yeah. man. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. But just know that you aren't slick. <laughs> like, make some alts if you're going to talk that shit because... I can see you. Everyone remembers. I, got, I always got my eye open. Yeah. Not, I remember these It's not names. just us, too. Us vapid, fucking dumbass weirdos. It's like the, the big boys watch the... Yeah, speak for yourself in the last part, though. The chat log, too. Yeah. <laughs> us big boys watch the chat, as well as whatever you called yourself. We'll get into the height in a second... But we actually have to talk about another tournament. Yeah, the um, which I watched zero of. I didn't watch any of it either. Were because you just banking me watching it. What? Were you just banking that I watched no, it? No, but I just figured it's something to speak about in general. The Sky Williams thing that happened. It was a Twitch Invitational. Invitationals in general, kind of a weird concept or a unique concept, I should say. Um, and he just booked right over Don't Park. Yeah. Well, it was all resolved. We were talking in the kitchen. We had a long talk in the kitchen. Oh my god, it was so heated. <laughs> it was very heated. Yeah. It was me, you, and Don B. Yeah. Eating cereal and screaming at each other over yeah. what was right and what wasn't. And my initial thoughts were, it's not right. It's yeah. not fair. And you and Miles were like, yeah, it's fair. Who cares? Not who cares. But. Yeah, you were kind of on this point about like, this is so unfair. How could they do this? Grassroots is what made us. And I was like, you know what, man? Like, that's true and all, but at the end of the day, it's, like, it's competition. And you're all fighting for viewers, and just because you claim the stake earlier doesn't mean that it can't be opened up to other people with more competition. Yeah, I, I kind of came around to the idea that, like, what does a tournament want ultimately, right? Yeah. Do they want attendees? Do they want, if we're talking open tournaments, do they want viewers? What, like, if, if we're talking about, like, revenue streams, like, what do they want that makes, is it the most money? Is it the, the, just the fact that it's the most significant? I don't fucking know. I yeah. think Aiden for Dope Park, just wanted to put a tournament on with a bunch of European boys because he's a student of the world. And he did. And he put on a tournament with over a thousand people, I think, in like both games or something. Yeah, Really total. impressive. And I don't think an invitational with like 16 people. As long as it was people that didn't want to go yeah, already. that'd be a little grimy if they poached. That's fucking grimy. And that was what I automatically assumed, but uh, that really wasn't the case. You saw it got worked out, right? Yeah, it got worked out. It handled beautifully. Sky Williams was like, all right, we're going to switch the day to Saturday, which he didn't have to do. And then he said, I'm going to give you guys $2,000 to the prize pool, bonus money. which he did not have to do. I'm also wondering, though, is like, is, is there a tone deafness here of whoever organizes that? If it was just Sky Williams, is he, like, is he not paying it? Like, all you got to do is, like, events this week, you know? Well, it's Twitch gave him the day, and he was like, yeah, run it. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, no like, one knows. It could have been earlier. But, like, end of the day, it's like, you know, this is, it's the 15th and 16th. What are they going to do? The 22nd and 23rd and have everyone come yeah, the day before Christmas Eve? Christmas. Or Christmas. are they going to have them come the 30th, the day before New Year's? What is it? That, what's, why does Twitch like to do December invitationals? Isn't that weird? Last year, they did the same thing with Melee. They won that crush Probably one. a budget thing, right? We right. have X amount of money to spend at the beginning oh, of the year yeah, on our budget. Dump it, bro. Dump it. Dump it. Hey, Twitch, off the sticks invitational, me and Ludwig. Best of nine, Fox Marth, ten thousand dollar prize pool. You got to spend that budget, or you're getting less next year, and you know it. Ten thousand, winner takes all. We will not split. 50, 50, 50, 50, I got you. We will not split. No split. I actually ever. wouldn't split with you. Why? Because I would just win. But then we split. Yeah, but I just win ten thousand. Yeah, but why split five thousand with one of my friends, where we could both be winners with money that's not ours, when I could just get ten thousand? But then you wouldn't win, because I got the juice. 
Kip Casper has the juice. That's my Marth's name. I'll stream best of nine against you for a thousand dollars. Can we do it on fucking land instead of your goddamn stupid That's dolphin? land. That's land. It's not land because it chops. That's it, not you, land. You, it's like there's like vertical tearing because VSync isn't on because it shouldn't be. Okay. And your computer's a piece of shit. It's an alien we're pre bought from Best Buy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get fucking exposed. I'm not exposed. I've shown that on on stream several times. I've that's never... embarrassing to do. It's not that. embarrassing. I don't need to build my own PC. I bought at Best Buy. It was a great deal. Okay, I had a Best Buy employee discount because I worked at Best Buy. It was a thousand dollars. If you look up the Aurora right now, X6, mind you, with a 1070 in it, that goes for about sixteen hundred. Uh, we call that mogul moves in the aisle. Your case is like a fucking Fisher Price, and the motherboard is probably made out of actual graham cracker wafers. Yeah, well, that's true. And actually, Atrioc, if you could send me a 2080 soon, you said you'd get that to me. So, waiting on you, everyone just tweet at Atrioc, A T R I O K C H. Yeah, that's what it is. Something like that. Let him know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, enough exposing. Uh, I think. The ha uh, situation was handled perfectly. I think so too, and it's like I, I don't know. I hope this doesn't. I don't know if this will set a precedent because like you try really hard to not do stuff like this, and sometimes it just happens. But this doesn't seem like much research did go in because they've been planning "Don't Bark on the Grass" for like actually a year. Yeah, like one whole year out, which is huge. You know, that's really yeah, it's a, a lot time. of foresight. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I'm glad everything got settled. Um, Skyline's, I think, net positive, doing nice things, so that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, one more thing. Apparently, Kadana was selling deodorant. At the venue? At Dome Park. Yeah. Who makes their own deodorant? This has been a thing. I can't believe you don't know about this. I heard about it, and then I remembered about it. Is that normal? P Ringler was like, dude, his deodorant's good. Well, he was talking <laughs> like, about... All right, like, that's cool. <laughs> I, haven't we talked about this on Office 6 before, actually? I don't think so. Maybe. We might have. I, I honestly think we have. I wish we could go into a flashback clip. Like it was a yeah, but get we can't. The we don't have it. Um, do it in post. Yeah, Tove tweeted out about it because he bought it and he tweeted like the picture of it. And apparently, it's like what does it come in? Like a Ziploc bag? I don't really know what it comes in, but I do know that he talks about how real deodorant's a scam, and that how his yeah. deod his deodorant lasts like a week. Like you don't have to put it on every day; it just lasts a week, and it smells very fragrant and delicious. It's <laughs> so weird. And it's like all natural chemicals. It has like like five ingredients or something. It's just like made in the mountains. Yeah, it's like sick for you. It's super dope. I want to start selling slimes conditioner. Beer, but beer you don't conditioner. know what you're doing. No, no. But like, this, he's not doing it for the cash. He's not like mass market this <laughs> shit. All right, we gotta we gotta put out Cadano bottles. Put the Cadano label on it. We gotta take it. down Old Spice once and for all. No, this guy's like, all right. Well, these companies don't know the fuck they're doing. I do. Have my homemade deodorant. It's like controllers. He just took his controller hobby where he found these mass-made products, he saw how it could be improved, he made those improvements, and then he sold it to the general public. Yeah, two things that Smashers are always in need of. Controllers, deodorant. Yeah. He is cornering the market, innovating in every way possible, where we are our weakest. You call yourself a mogul. He's making deodorant. I'm not even close to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Anyway, I want to try it. Send me a sample package. I'll have some for dinner. Of his deodorant? Yeah. Have some for dinner? Why didn't you just buy it when you were there? I don't know. Because of the casino? No, it wasn't because of the casino. Probably because of the just, casino. I was flying around. There okay. it is. Axe deodorant didn't last very long. Maybe I should write a tutorial on how to mix your own. Tove uses it every day. This is in August. He's smelling fresh. Yeah. He's got the custom deodorant. Last two to five days. That's so weird. Why is it? It's, it's only weird because culturally I've only ever bought like, you know, things from the store. Yeah. Head Sheep. and shoulders, you know. Whatever. Sheep. Trust me. Ooh, la, la. Anyway. I do too, actually. Dope Park was really Park. cool. Shout out to Aiden. He put on a really cool uh, tournament. He is, uh, he's got a big old hard on for the whole international scene, and I, I'm glad somebody does. Yeah, it looks fun. I wish I could have gone. Uh, you were doing a secret project. Perhaps two years from now. Secret <laughs> project, yeah, to be revealed at a secret date. And uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome. It's a good tournament. Wood wreck. Now let's tie up Melee, because it's been a fun year. It really for Melee. It's been a fun year for us. It has, isn't it? Things have changed for us. Us a year ago is so different than... It, shit. Just in the Melee scene. You were working at some club. I was doing my old job. I was working at Snapchat. Really? In, yeah. In December? Well, a year ago, like, I'm thinking the start of 2018. Sure, sure, sure. Um, you were streaming Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Yeah, I did my Bennett first Foddy. ever stream. Dot com. Got super drunk. Mm-hmm. Um, I think fell asleep for part of the stream. Nice, nice. Bring back that that vibe. Um, 
and now it's everything so different. Yeah. So let's go. Let's take a look at the the year in review. Yeah. So let's. We're going to talk about just some big things that have happened in Melee that were especially important to us. So this is a year in review for Super Smash Brothers Melee. Let's check out the first moment that we loved. Yeah. And now this one, oh. I'm particularly fond of. What? This was from Smash Camp. Oh. 20, uh, 18, or 2017, I should say. It was last year. Uh, at the oh. very start of Smash Camp, when we did the moon off. Yeah. Uh, and so I remember this. All of us just mooned the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then whoever had the best one was rated by the judges. So you guys might have seen on my Twitter the Smash Hottie calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was a Smash mooning calendar. Yeah, it was. It was, it was I didn't make the cut. And I was shocked because I thought I had a nice rump. You do have a nice, you have one of the uh, most hairless buttholes, I think, in the melee community. But apparently they were just fans of the hair, you know, so Nick Yingling was on there. <laughs> right. Well, it's also, it's like a, it's like a foresty mountain based yeah. event, right? So you're looking for that grizzle, that gruffness, yeah. you know, and you're just too pristine, too smooth. You're a city That's boy. That's pretty much it. With a smooth butt. That's pretty much it. They were saying, you know, get out of here, you city slicker. And then. Uh, Mrs. Cream Skunk would bend over and you would see, you know, the National Forest, Yellowstone. Yeah, yeah. looking like Redwoods. And you would literally see geysers come out. Uh, <laughs> and you could see them through their GameCube controllers here, but yeah. this was a really special moment for me at Smash Camp that really, I, I felt like I was bonding. It also means that, you know, you have room to improve. Like, you can't win at all sometimes based on your looks or your, you know, your body. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, you didn't win this. Well, ne this I have next year. January 6th, Smash Camp 2018. Actually, the shop is open if you guys want to check it out. I think it's smash.gg forward slash Smash Camp, or you can look it up on their search engine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> no, just Google it. Seriously, though. No. Yeah, uh, just Compendium Google. is open. Miles is close to getting uh, to AZ, and um, maybe you can see this if someone you can see the, uh, sneaks a picture. Right. So, yeah, there's a Smash Camp... Uh, Compendium, check it out. Support the uh, the gang. A lot of good, a lot of good boys and girls. So that was my first moment. I'm curious as to what yours was. Mine. Okay, so this was earlier in the year. This was during Genesis Five, and this was a really big moment for our community. And this is so cool. This is when Mark Wahlberg decided to hop on commentary. Wow. For Genesis Five pools. Now you remember this, right? You yeah, remember yeah, this of course, of course, of course. This was just the coolest thing I ever saw, right? Because here's this movie guy, right? Yeah. Burger mogul. Mm -hmm. Fit icon. Yeah. You know, actor. And here he is, a part of a dynasty, the Wahlberg dynasty. I could have fucking stopped 9-11. What? That was a big quote he had. Yeah, okay. Well, not in that accent. Well, I think I nailed you it. You sound like, you sound like a, a carnival barker. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> no, Mark, Wal good. Mark Wahlberg only, he, I mean, he claims that if he was on one of the 9-11 hijacked planes, he could have stopped it from, uh, from happening. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is the exact screenshot where he told that to Bobby Scar, and Bobby Scar right now is actually, I think he... Scar is, he, he's contemplating... He took the mic like, out. How do, how, do we, how do we send you back in time? That's what Scar's yeah. thinking right now. He's like, bro, bro can, we, can we just clone you and have you on every plane? <laughs> Forget air marshals. We yeah. need air marks. <laughs> air marks, yeah. Wahlberg Air. He needs to start his own airline. He's already got the burger chain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was so cool for us. He actually is very knowledgeable in the Samus um, Falcon matchup, which mm -hmm. was very cool. Um, and it was just a great moment for our community, showing a spotlight a little bit, got a little couple more people into Melee. So shout out to Mark Wahlberg. Thank you so much for taking a look inside our little special community. You, you gotta fucking wave dash back. Right. I hate duck. Uh, yeah. Cause, uh, cause oh. he's... Oh no. <laughs> it's him, it's he's... Oh no. You remember of when he was people, a kid. Uh, yeah, of all the people to choose. Well, Samus. Players that he might hate. Yeah, Samus, yeah. Samus, so. It's hard matchup. Um, I mean, it, it's something because you're feeling like you're going blind out there, so. He's a Hugs fan. Yeah. That's important. Mm. Well, that was one special moment. Now, this one, and I need to preface this, because you know SmashCon 2018 has a bunch of their little side events and all that. Mm. Um, whatever, best award for this, best award for that. One of the awards that actually got cut, that they filmed ahead of time, they filmed some content ahead of time, was an award um, with me in Slime. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I remember this one fondly. I don't like to bring it up, because he's a little bit embarrassed about it, because he was shorter <laughs> than both Timmy and Joey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was the Height Contest 2018. And as you can see here, I just clocked in about <laughs> six foot three. Why do you have a mullet? Uh, well, it was just, you know, I was rocking it back. This is before I was, uh, you know, uh, 
on TV and you know, all this Twitch stuff. So this was I, during that. It was like before it really started rolling, though. You know, I okay before sure. Before the ball started. So it was August. before the roast and stuff. You know, I was like, I was okay. in my writer's room. Yeah, you were kind of. I was really thinking. Just letting it all hang and hang out. You know, the hotels.com thing took a while. I was out of commission for that. So yeah. some hair grew. And so. In the back of the head. So it was just, now I don't remember this very well. Forgive me. Okay, sure. Um, so it was literally just who's taller wins. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And uh, there was a $5,000 cash prize. Um, and what? actually. Yeah, $5,000 cash prize. They, they picked five people randomly from the crowd. They gave um, 2000 to first place and then 1000 to second through fourth. Um, oh. So that's why. So, so I, didn't, I didn't get anything. Well, I don't have to get in specifics. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I, you didn't get anything. But they still called me up? Yep, they just so it's pointed pretty much just a shame position because I don't get anything and I'm just... Right. You're back row, so they probably thought maybe... Right. Maybe, he's, maybe he breaks five feet. So who's this next to Armada, next to you, uh, in between? That is that is Joey. Okay. He is a aspiring Fox main. Okay. From Indiana, he's and a, he just went to the tournament. And he's taller than Armada, but shorter than you. Yes, which puts him right about in like five foot eleven. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, shout outs to the competitors here. You know, I mean. And that's Timmy. The you know one of the funniest thing. What? He doesn't even play Smash. Oh, next to me? Yeah, he won $1,000. doesn't even play. I, wow, that's... Probably could have just had you, not him. Oh, no. So, that was the high contest. I uh, hope they do it again next year. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Raking some of that cash. I mean, what... It, I mean, there's a chance I could win if you can I do better, champ. get a good seed. You yeah. Know? But, yeah, I'm glad you, I'm glad you came up, you He'll know? get him next year. I'm glad you cut your hair, He'll too. Get, He'll get him next year. Oh. Well... So that was that was a that was a cool moment, wasn't it? it was. SmashCon has just so much cool stuff for everybody. Um, one of the things I thought was so great, this was now I believe if you could just pull it up, Zipper, because I can't remember the order. That's right. Mm. Smash and Splash Four this year had far less casualties, drowned players and uh -huh. attendees than last year. So actually, only seven people died at the water park this wow. year, down from twenty-two. From Smash and Splash three, three, and that is an insane. Co that is a uh, less a thirty-three percent markdown, mm -hmm. sixty-six, I should say. Yeah, I'm not sure, but that is just 66. so nice to see. And again, we uh, remember in our hearts all of the competitors, and, and such as um, there was Wet Willie, who mained, of course, uh, Falco, and we can't forget where he was from. He was from Florida. And he was one of the the lighter deaths, but of course there was the man who died. Uh, that was Big Brent. Oh. And Big Brent, and that's a, that he was an old school player, and he was from or Oregon. And, and they were yelling cannonball because mm -hmm. he was uh, obviously a Kirby main, used to down being. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but he was uh, he had a side Marth, secondary Marth. Yeah. yeah, and it's crazy that one cannonball took out so many other people. Yeah, it was like, it was like, there was, it was violent, mm -hmm. you know? Collateral damage. And people, people just died. And it was tragic, you but know? only seven. But the thing is, th th what was nice is that they took more security measures, more on staff, um, paramedics, technicians, mm -hmm. and only seven people lost their lives. And that is so nice for a tournament that had quite a high death toll for tournaments in general. Yeah, and now I, I'm not a stats guy, but the year's almost over. Let's just assume it's over. How many deaths happened, do you know, in the entirety of 2018? Uh, it, at Melee tournaments yeah. specifically? Seven. Oh. They were all at this tournament because it's dangerous. It, water is dangerous, and you can drown in it. You want to go to Smash and Splash 5? Yeah. Let's just go. Hell yeah, it's time. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to those guys doing a great job mm. just reducing the amount of danger that some Smashers face. And hey, let's get to three next year. Yeah, or maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, you, you shoot for the stars. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and here's my last one. And this also comes from Genesis 5. And this was a moment that I loved a lot. Something that, you know, definitely happened. We were there for. We all saw it. This was one of our, one of our favorite Samus play, uh, players, Hugo Hugs, made top eight. Yeah, he did. So we all remember this definitely happened. Uh, this re this for sure happened. Hugs made top eight at a at a super major. 
Yeah. He, <laughs> this is super real. This definitely happened. It was, it, he was, it's on the page even. And as you can see, it's a real picture of him actually there. Yeah, look at it's, that. Yeah, it's super real. This is super real. This definitely happened. He was there. He did well with Samus, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, is crazy. Yeah, and he was, uh, I think, subsequently on a team. because or Before that, he had just got on a team with mm -hmm. Dignitas. So he's been a year with Dignitas. Great showing, you know, and he, uh, he made top eight at one of the biggest tournaments of the year for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. And that, and that, yeah, definitely happened. Congratulations. That is so, it's crazy. We're all really proud of you. Well done. So the last thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, this is probably one of my favorite. The thing is, Smashers get a lot of shit sometimes for not having style, you know, not having, not stunting properly, right? This is what's cool is that sometimes the top players, they show you, they, they break it out and they show you a little bit how to, how to look and feel in the game as well. Mm. So this was my favorite moment is when Mango went for the bowl cut. Wow. Yeah, so this was early early in the year and Mango just decided, you know what, sometimes I'll just cut it off. Yeah. He doesn't care. And so this was, uh, this was taken at Big House. So this is actually later in the year. But yeah, if nobody remembers, he actually went for a very avant-garde style, you know, very Gus Dapperton. He looks like Post Malone. Well, yeah, in general, I think he always has, but this is... Um, this like, really seals it for me. This was just a cool look that he decided to run with, and I think it worked out super well. Um, he looks like he's in a band. Um, I like it. And everyone remembers how well he did it at Big House. The Leffen set was amazing. Yeah. Um, Bowl him over. Yeah, Who that's what forget? I'm talking about. Pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, so that was, again, like I said, sometimes the aesthetics of Smashers don't really impress anybody but i think mango made a really cool choice here and just ended up looking super fly what can i say what are you what are you doing a mango you got so much in the front you got a floof look at that look at how great he looks very nice cut very clean and i i can't wait to see what else some smashers will pull out of the pocket later on in the year you know oh yeah you're the same like twins it kind of is. So On the screen and off. <laughs> That's a Don B haircut right there. <laughs> very, very nice. Cool. Very nice. Uh, two, two birds of a feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flock yeah. together. Well, that was our Melee recap. It's been a great year. We've had a lot of changes in ourselves. And I think this is a good time to share something between each other. I think we should. Because yeah. we've gone in on an adventure this year. Started with, you know, well. What did it start with? I was in a dark place. <laughs> you were in a dark place. And then I sprung out. The Patriots lost, basically. And then I flew. When, when the Patriots lost, I think that was the most down you've ever been emotionally. February 4th or something? Yeah, the Super Bowl. The days blurred together. Yeah, that was... But then since then, started commentating some big tournaments together. Uh -huh. Did Genesis, mm. we did Evo. What? I think in 2019. What do you we, we did Smash and... Sp what, you what did we do together? We did... Um, we did the big house. Did we do the big house? Did we? Yes. Yeah! Side stream. Woo! Nice. Fuck Good yeah. Stuff. Fuck. Uh, and then we did uh, Bigger Balk 2. No, I wasn't there. I didn't go to that. You didn't... Right. Hey, it we, was did a great year. we did off the sticks. We did off the sticks. And it was, it was a really great year. And then, um, Can't believe we are so close together. Such a great year we spent work together. For BTS for Summit. Yes. I that that was that was I was gonna say that I was tip of my tongue. That was important That's to me. Cool. And so, I thought we'd do a little Santa, a little secret Santa, secret a little gift Santa. swap. Secret Santa. That's right. A little gift swap. Not really secret. Well, yeah. Because secret Santa implies you don't know who's gonna give it to you. But we're just going to do a little gift swap. Yes. Um, do you want to? I think you should go first. RPS. Is it really important? Well, no. No. Uh, no. We can. Here, let's. Okay. All right. On, yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, shoot. That was an insane play. Okay. So I will go first then. Okay. That's good. 
uh, and I'll give you the gift that I got you. And I actually spent a lot of time picking this out. Okay. And I, I got it shipped. I couldn't get it wrapped because obviously I was a little bit busy this weekend. But I want you to know it comes from the heart, and this is something I, I picked out especially for you. Okay. So I would love to see it. Let me just get it out of my jacket pocket here. Yeah, it's second. stuck in there. Here you go. It's a what? Here you go. Oh, wait, sorry. What is that? that is part one. Is this a breathalyzer? Yep, uh, I lost the tip. Why do you have this? I got it for you as a gift. Well, this looks like it's used and old. No, 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 no. I got that brand new. Um, you What's can see that? because there's no tip in it, which means it's brand new. Do you, can I? You got to buy a tip. Okay. Well, Tips got more batteries in it. How do you turn it on? I um, think, I think the batteries are Why there. did you get me this? Because I thought it. I haven't drank alcohol in like five years. Right. Like I don't. Like there is, also this implies if I did drink alcohol that I would like, I would be driving around when I do it. Right, yeah, you don't. This, this just isn't like a good gift, like in general. No, no, I know, I knew you didn't drink, which is why I got it for you specifically. Cause I know sometimes you're being pushed with the DD duty and sometimes you don't want to drive. So you can just be like, hey, I know I was DD, put it in the mouth and be like 0.08, good for me, good for the law. So you're saying I could give this to other people to, uh -huh. to, so they can drive themselves home after drinking. Yeah. That's what you want me to do with this. No, no, no. So you, yeah. And they can give you a ride too. <laughs> and I just get in the car. Well, no, you check first. R well, yeah. Wow. This is so... Thoughtful. Cool. This is a great gift, Ludwig. Um, it's not working also. Not my problem. It's like... It, it is not my device. Button. That is your device. All right. Take it up with Amazon. There's a keychain, so I can put it on my keys. Yeah. Also. I know I, I splurged a little bit. I went above our $5 limit. Wow. All right. Hey, you know what? That, bro, thank you so much, dude. That's, hey, well, let me give you uh, mine first. Okay, sure. I'll just put this Give over. me yours, yeah, because you're, you're oh. saying some stuff about mine, so I'd love to see what you got me. Yeah, well, no, I just, um, the thing is, it's like, it's, um, I, you know, I love Christmas. <laughs> okay, me too. I, it's, it's actually I, the most important holiday to me. Every single year, my family would go on vacation for Christmas, so it's like where I have the best memories. So it's, Christmas is really important to me. Right. And yeah. especially this year where I'm not going to be able to spend it with my family because they're going on a cruise. Yeah, we spend it with each other. Like, we're friends, so we spend it so with the, each other. this Christmas is really important for me. Right. So I, that means that, like, the gift that, that, um, that I... Oh. So what I wanted to get you was something really, really special was, um, was one of these. Because, like, here, well, you can take it. Do you want me to hold it? Well, it's your gift. I gave it to you. So, because, you know, we play Melee, right? Why'd you give it to me? Why'd well, you give this to me? Because we play Melee. And so this is, this is such a nice gift because we always... How many times have you been in a tournament like, hey, anybody have a power strip? Anybody have a power strip, right? And so this is like, you know, this is like symbolic of get the, the grind and like get the, you know, the game that we so love. So you want me to go to a tournament and wait for someone to yell, anybody got a power strip, and then I give them my power strip? Well, you could, but you could also just use it in your room. So in case you have a lot of stuff to plug in, this has, it has six on them. There's six of these. And so if you have stuff to plug in, you can plug in six things, unless you got like a big brick one, then you can't, you kind of got to lose one. Um, and it's got a, a button on it. And you can press that too. It doesn't even have the space for the big bricks. You know how some of them have a space if you have a big brick. Yeah, it's so like it sideways. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Um, I didn't get it, but it's got like that's a lot of plugs. What is this? What is this? This is just tape. Um, if you want it, is it is so it for you, me? Yeah, that's for you. So you just you can there's just tape on it. I spent a lot of time on my gift for you, just so you know. What I mean, did you? Yeah. I mean, well, here's the thing. It doesn't stop there. Okay. Ludwig, it sure. doesn't stop there. Because okay. I got... Um, I'd love some more. I mean, it's a two-parter, right? Like, I, you know, you got me one gift. Yeah. <laughs> I got you... Um, um, What's that? I want that. These are drink tickets from my old job's Christmas party where I used to wear this, this jacket. Okay. I, 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 What's in your wallet? Let me see your wallet. No. No, no, um, bring it out. No, okay. And so... Maybe like, you put it I, in there. I got you some dental floss it's not even the picks and this no but this is the og style you know what i'm saying yep. so this is minty and it's wax i think i get what's going on here and so you can i think i get have that too what these That's gifts mean two-part gift i get what this two three-part gift is you have a special surprise waiting for me for christmas day <laughs> 
Oh man, you know me too well. You really do. You didn't want to spoil it on the show. You have a little surprise right, for Christmas like, Day. because it's like, it's a big thing, you know? Right? And, and I, don't, I knew when you said $5 limit, you're going to go above. Right. And this is not all you got me. I knew there was more. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I can't wait to see what more you got me. I'll be sure to post it Twitter day, or okay. Christmas day on yeah. Twitter. Right, right, right. It'll right. be the first thing I do. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll look forward to that. When, when, I, give, when I give you the, the, the gift. Yep, Christmas day. Yeah. And so, don't be afraid to go above the limit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Day. And I'll, I'll tweet about it. All right. That'd be super great. It's going to be great, bud. I'm looking forward to that. And the only other thing we have to do after Christmas are some New Year's resolutions. Because you know the holidays follow. Yes. True. It goes Christmas, then it goes New Year's. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Z- <laughs> Z- Zipper, is, <laughs> Zipper is on one. I've never seen a more on one. It must be the holiday spirit. We're well, just showing, he's just, yeah. It's just the gift that I got you. What? That's the gift that I got you. Anyway. It's a big um, gift. So yeah, we are going to cover, this is, this is our last, uh, this is our last segment. Yeah. For the season. Yeah, we're done. What I wanted to do was I wanted to make a couple New Year's resolutions and also look forward to 2019 in Melee and kind of estimate where we're at, some things we hope to see, some mm. things we hope not to see. Mm and kind of figure it out from there. So okay. Ludwig, what are some of your New Year's resolutions? Well, there's a few things. In general. But I think one that I hope to do is to be more on time to stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because sometimes I'm late. Yeah, you. because... Um, Very rarely, but it happens. It's like every episode of this show, you just, you just roll in. 10 till, 10 till, 10 till broadcast. I'm glad you brought it up because it fucking pisses me off. What was yours? <laughs> uh, so you just want to come be uh, more on time and stuff. Yep. Punctual. I want to, I want to definitely k- take care of my body more. You I'm look a- like shit. You look like shit. I see you shirtless more than anyone, and let me tell you, I, I'm so glad that you picked that, because that fits you, to a T. Right, yeah, I, right, I eat a lot of, I mean, I live moss a lot. Yeah. Today, I had two. You look moss. Yeah. This is, this is like, this is like, uh, like a, like a, like a tree in a, the Sahara Desert wishing for water. Just makes sense. So you're, it's a good thing, is what you're saying, yeah, that, I, that I do that. Yeah, so I mean, I, I ate, ate two Burrito Supremes today. Did you? Yeah. You know we're living moss after this, right? I, yeah, I know. Well, I guess it's not the new year yet. No, it's not. We got a couple days. Like two, two weeks. Like two weeks. Exactly two weeks to New Year's. Two weeks, few hours. Nice. Can't wait. Okay, that's a good one. So yeah, I'm just going to eat better, take more care of my body. Count some calories a little more. Go to the gym, obviously, way more often. You know, three-day mm-hmm. splits, nice. But maybe bump it up to four. Who knows? Three-day splits? Yeah. You're doing three-day splits? I'm trying. <laughs> Where do you think I am all the time? Sleeping. Or at the casino. It's either those. But or sometimes it's, moss. it's the gym. <laughs> and sometimes it's the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mixture. <laughs> like, one day, you didn't show up for hours. You know that? What? When? We were worried sick. It was me, Nick, and Miles. We were all in the yeah, kitchen waiting for you. Yeah, it was after the Smash Ultimate local. You went to a Smash Ultimate local, uh, local. Nick got back at like nine. Me and Miles were cutting each other's hair. Yeah. And then I did it with Nick. We started playing Mario Party. We finished at like 12.30. You still weren't home. Yeah. And we, we sat had, around we the kitchen until 3 a.m. We had a flight the next morning, too. <laughs> you were just worried about me? Yeah, we were worried sick. <laughs> we were worried sick. We all texted you. Yeah. I came here to get my boarding pass, and then I just fell asleep on the couch. We were worried sick, because you had a flight at 9 a.m. Yeah. Who'd you get in a fight with? Get in a fight? You said you got in a fight with someone. No. What? You said you got in a fight the next morning. Oh, flight, flight, a flight. A flight. Right. <laughs> Speak out of the devil. <laughs> Little plane action. Uh, yeah, so that should be your, another resolution for you. Is to what? Don't leave us worried sick. Okay, yeah. Be nicer to my friends. Pager. That's actually a good resolution. And I think I've actually worked on that mid-year this year, was just be nicer in general. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes... My, my whole life, the past year, has been grappling with the idea that I am scum, and yet people enjoy me as on a camera or whatever. A hive of scum and villainy. No, yeah, I, I, I am grappling with that reality every day. And what I've learned is that 
it's okay it's okay that people are okay with me mm -hmm. it's yeah, okay it and it i is. don't need to resent them because no. i don't feel the same way about myself yeah and i learned that that's good and that's a good feeling i want to continue that and i want to be nicer to my friends i don't need to do that because i'm already so nice to all my friends you're pretty nice all the time except when you've had a few well then you start bringing up old shit well don't need to get into that <laughs> By the way, could you um, just keep that around the house? What the? Oh, th this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, if, if you ever want to use just it. Just keep it handy. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to find the tip. And also, it doesn't turn on. No, it's okay. You just breathe into it and it'll turn on. Shh. Don't try it on camera because it. You have to drink alcohol for it to work. So maybe if you break edge and zero. Dry, break zero, edge. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah. If you break edge, it'll like light up. Sober as a judge. It'll do a Christmas tune. <laughs> oh. That's nice. You are drunk and gonna die. Don't drive a car. Don't drive a car. <laughs> it's, like it's like a Tesla. Yeah. In the holiday mode. Uh, yeah, no, I actually like the be nice one. I think I have to be a little more nice, a little more conscious, uh, a little more attentive. I think I'm the kind of friend that um, someone will text me and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to leave this unread because I need to respond to it. And but you then, don't want to leave it on scene. No, yeah, because I want to make sure, because if I, if I read it, I'll never remember it. But if I have the notification there, I'm thinking, oh, I'll go back to that. But then I never do. Yeah. That happens to me a lot. Yeah. It's rude. Uh, I know, and I feel really bad. You know what? I think you should go in the opposite direction. I think you're too nice. I think you should, should fire off a little bit more. To who? I do fire off. A little, just more. I'll fire off right now. Give me a name. Um, Bill Gates. F fuck you. Wow. Fucking malaria. Yeah. What about deaf people? Yeah. I want them to hear again, Bill. Why don't you do something about it with all your millions? Blind people can't even see what you're doing for the malaria folk. So why not fix them, then fix the malaria folk? You're, That's so, you're so selfish. You're just a selfish man. And it's disgusting. And I really enjoy the book list that you put on Reddit. It really drives me to read more every year. Why, why, I thought we were firing off on him. Read more garbage. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. He's walked right into that one, Billy. And I appreciate you've done the country. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Fired off. Boom. Roasted. I like that. Good job. Well done. That's not even 2019 yeah, I know. Um, I'm trying to think. Let's do one more resolution each. I'm trying to think. Do you want to do a melee one? <sighs> Fuck. I, I want to. I, I, I vow to not lose to Slimes Marth for the entirety of 2019 with my fox. What does that imply? Does that imply friendlies too? You can't say it. Like I'm gonna take a friendly one day. And also, I don't lose to you that often. I vow. Be specific. I swear with my life. Are we talking money matches, sets? Money matches are the only thing that counts in the tournament. Okay. All right. Fine. I'm not gonna, I don't care about a one friendly. I am going to one day. Not throw a fucking melee match in tournament. I've seen you not throw this year. Double knee? That was doubles. That's doubles, I, I try harder because there's someone depending on me. Okay. Nick has to go home if I fail here. Yeah. But when it's me, I'm just self-destructive, so it's like, run it. So don't be self-destructive. Just edge guard like a normal fucking human person. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Wow. That scary. It sounded so real. Yeah, was, <laughs> Zipper. <laughs> oh my god. That what terrified me. That terrified me. What about you? Last last one. I just did it. Oh wait. You want to do one more? No, no, no. That was it. I forgot. I forgot. I just forgot. It was just just a whack resolution that I didn't believe or even remember. Do you want to do a real one? I mean, these are pretty real. I really do want to stop throwing a tournament and take it seriously and play patient like a fucking competitor. I really don't want to lose your Marth. So they're real. We're out here. And in 2019, I want to make the best content possible on twitch.tv forward slash Ludwig Ogren, on twitch.tv forward slash BTS Smash, any, any, uh, any other outlet. Bring as much joy as possible through the power of content. I want to make something that I can feel proud of just one more time. I want to there, get better. I want to get better too. I want to make something that doesn't have holes in it and that doesn't, I don't know. There's a void inside me. It's, I, it's just always, it's like the, uh, the guy in Inuyasha with the hand. It's all sucking. Mm. There's a suck hole in my, in my chest. Or like Iron like Man could have worked as well. Yeah, but more. Iron Man's fulfilled personally. 
Is he? Yeah. He's like, he has a purpose. I want to make something that makes that feeling go away for like a day. That would be cool. And I'll try. I'll try. Good luck. You too, man. Anything, any predictions in Melee? Who's going to be the top? Who's going to be the bottom? Well, <laughs> I'm thinking a top my or a boy Zane. Top or bottom? Top. Oh, hell yeah. My boy Zach? Going to be looking a lot like 2016. That's a good year for him. Yeah, it was yeah. his best year. Yeah. He uh, got second in shine. He beat Mangus. Beat 100 bucks a lot. Yeah. That's what I want. Beat uh, one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, cool. Um, I think that... I think Ultimate... I think we'll get a couple new players for Melee. Okay. And I hope we do. My prediction... Uh, I think that single streaming culture might hurt tournaments. Maybe. But I don't want it to, and I hope it won't. Leffen says it doesn't. Leffen just hit 5K subs, and he's like, I'm still a competitor first. Well, Leffen's a fucking yeah. goddamn legend. Want to make a bet right now? $100? What? We'll name two people who aren't inside the top 10 who we think will be in the top 10 by 2020. Okay. So not people who are already in that area, in that range. That's rough. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Um, do you have any off the top of your head? Off the cuff? Because I think he won't be in the top 10. I'm pretty confident he won't. Maybe it's too free. I was going to say SFAT. Because I, th I don't think he'll be in the top 10. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, it's a good, that's, that's a pretty solid guess. You're just doing two each? Yeah. No, S -fat. Just yeah, just one. That's mine. Oh, just one? That's my, that's my horse. That's your horse, man? Yeah. I think that... Oh, shit. I, I think Swedish could really, could really do it. Swedish? I think he could really do it. He might even be 2019, honestly. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. I'm down. All right. Swedish, you're my horse. $100. Late night with Ludwig. <laughs> Ew, this is so old LaCroix. Uh, yeah, you never refilled it. The essence I literally out. gave you that cup it's for you to regular water use now. every stream. The bubbles and the flavor. Every out. single episode, I wanted you to use that cup, and you know what you used instead? This one? Yeah. Okay. And then just a cup of monster. This is supposed to be Ludwig. Oh, it won't focus. Yeah, isn't that weird? You look like, you look like George Bush. Is, is that? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. You're my Dick Cheney. <laughs> oh! What does that mean? That you do all the work. But you're Dick Cheney. You're Dick Cheney. I'm George Bush. Oh, I thought you said, I like... No, you're my Dick Cheney. No, I thought you said, uh, like, you know, I'm a tall guy, but my Dick Cheney. So I thought it was like an adjective. Wait, I wasn't even close to that. I thought that's what Nobody you said. Nobody understood that. Yeah. Like that. But what if Cheney was it? That'd be cool. Anyway. Anyway... I think we're delaying the inevitable. We are delaying the inevitable. We don't want the show to end. Uh, we don't know when it'll come back, do we? We don't. Uh, there's a lot of things flying around the air. You know, we're going into a new space. Um, it, we're just trying to figure it out. I can't guarantee that it will die or that it will live. I fucking can't. But um, ultimately, this will just be the end right here. You and me talking right now, right here. No, no. It could die? Yeah, maybe. I have, to, I have a lot to do and figure out. Did you not know this? No. <laughs> Listen. Die meaning like... Like maybe Alpha 6 doesn't come back. For one hour episodes and we'll do like 30 minute episodes. No, I'm, look, I've always thought it was cool... Bi-weekly. ...to do like one project and then leave it forever. I like doing that because you don't get to fail. You know what I mean? It can exist in like this thing that could have been and become like a that's cult lame. thing. It's not lame. That's it's lame. cool. No, that's that's you not know, You know what's something. fucking lame? Doing something for five seasons and then it's fucking it's a okay, shell of what it was. Okay, but we're not talking about like we're not talking about The Office in going to season nine, even though Michael Scott left. We're talking about canning The Office after like episode ten, and then just guess like, what? Well, it guess could what? have been one of the guess best shows what? of all time. The British version did that. No, but that was a, I am British television. No, because that was a fully written piece. You're still up in the air about it. They fully wrote it. They filmed it. They did it. They finished it. That was it. There, it wasn't like they were episode four into the six episodes and they were like, you know what, boys? Let's cut it. Let's fucking cut it. Let's cut it, mate. They didn't do that. Let's go on and cut it. Go they on wrote six cut. episodes, two episode seasons, filmed the whole thing, produced it, published it, 
It's not like they copped out episode Yeah, but three. sometimes you do. And that's cool. No, it's lame. No, it's not. It's because... only cool if it's not by your own will, right? So, for example, when it happened with Freaks and Geeks, that was cool. Yeah, because... but what if Freaks and Geeks, Geeks goes for two more seasons and just fucking whack? I don't know, but we'll never get to know. And that's cool. But Be it's because cool because he infinite. didn't want it. Because he, he wanted to keep doing it. It's not cool if, uh, what's his name? Uh, Judd Apatow? Yeah, it's not cool if Judd Apatow's like, I just stopped it because I was worried that season three would suck. Yeah. That is cool. I'd be like, fuck you, Judd, you pussy. Just do season three. <laughs> I don't like that, though. It's because you're scared. I'm not scared. I'm just... I also like trying new things. Beginnings are so much more fun than endings. Endings are so much more important. Yeah, they're harder. They're yeah. harder to do. Ending a story is always harder than starting one. You just kill everyone. Yeah, that's whack. Or you, like, wake up from a dream. And everyone's dead. Yeah. In Creative Writing 101, I had two rules that my professor told me no talking animals and no waking up from dreams I did a creative writing class two rules as well um, oh and also no writing from people from class that was that was also banned <laughs> it was every story is fake every oh. story has to be fiction yeah okay and and um, no porn no no clapping yeah ah, no <laughs> what is this China yeah <laughs> come on uh, yeah, I don't like I don't like that idea. But okay, cool. So Office Six is over. It's ending. This it's is the last episode ever. You heard it here. First I don't want to promise that it's coming back, and everyone keeps asking, like, "Hey, is Bad Bailey Podcast ever coming back?" You know, honestly, I say no. But like, so just promise that this is dead. Then just make it easier for us. Office Six is dead. Don't say that. What the fuck is wrong with <laughs> you? You just told me to do no, it. No, but I didn't think you'd do it. You think I won't pull the fucking trigger on my own son? Ooh, you don't know me. It's not your son. This is my son. This is our son. Yeah. <laughs> we're two dads. Yeah. I'm the one <laughs> three who fucking... dads. We're three dads. I'm sorry, Zipper. I'm, but I'm the one who fucking breastfeeds him. You breastfeed Zipper? No. I do. That, well, that's weird, and that's between you two. I breastfeed the show. <laughs> uh, who makes these sheets? Who makes these? Oh, congratulations. You got him into private school. <laughs> okay, but where's the heart? Where's the soul? All right, look, let's just wrap this shit. We're rambling. Off the Sticks is dead forever. Thank you guys so much for watching season one, 17 episodes. Join us in spirit. Because it's over. And maybe season two. <laughs> Listen, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll keep you guys abreast. Um, but I do want to say thanks maybe for everyone who ever came up to us at tournaments or whatever, or just messages us. Some people really fuck with the vibe mm. and they like what we do and we have a lot of fun too. I've always said, the only thing I ever wanted was a fake esports show. Here it is. And it's been great. It's been a great time. And that's just what, I'm sorry, I got distracted from a very handsome booth man coming in. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, um, it means a lot, honestly. Every time someone was like, I really like off the sticks, I'm like, thanks. Because we do too. And did it fill your empty hole? No. Compliments don't do that to me. No, I meant off the sticks. I don't know. Fuck you. I guess the answer is no if I don't know, right? Fuck you. I just, I don't know. There's some, something is out there that I need to find that can solve this problem. We weren't good enough for him, boys. That's not true. But right. yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> What? You're supposed to say no to that! I don't know. I'm just being honest. Yeah, that's fair. Look, I understand. Off the Six was a great time for me. I had fun every single Monday. I can't wait to see you guys next year. I guarantee we'll be back. Promise on my life. Okay. Well, either way, from both of us at Off the Sticks, Merry Christmas. This is so solemn. You did it so solemnly. I, what, it, You're drunk. Ending... You're Point. fucking drunk. <laughs> we have to end it. Ludwig, thank you guys so much. Um, what, you, you fucked it up. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Merry Christmas. Happy Chanaka. Um, whatever other holidays. You ignorant fuck. Happy New Year's. Happy holidays from off the six. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Good night. I'll see you maybe one day. Don't, don't, you don't have to be dramatic every time. You just need to end it dramatically. Don't wave like that. Goodbye. Do you think that's how Mr. Rogers ends his show? Mr. Rogers 
His last show, he's like, goodbye forever, kids. Goodbye forever, kids. Always remember the lessons that we shared and my sweaters. What a solemn man.